Hey, true believers. Chris Matt coming at you with something that's very special to me. This is the McFarlane Toys Bloody Variant Violator from the Spawns Universe. It's the deluxe mega action figure. However, this is not the store Bloody Variant. This is a custom made by my brother and best friend, Woodrum Illustrations. He went out of his way to fix this. If this looks familiar to you guys, if you look up here and see that the holes, this was the original Violator that I bought from Target. And uh, on TikTok, I posted the video where the leg snapped off the minute that I got it out of the packaging and it just completely made me livid. Though I will give a shout out to Target for sending me a fresh one, which was the one that we went over. I'll leave a card somewhere in this review so you can check the original. Now the OG Bloody Variant was a GameStop exclusive. I checked and it is currently sold out. However, at the time of this recording, if you want the regular Bloody Variant, it is available on Amazon. But me, I'm happy to have this custom one. So we don't really need to go around the box because we went around it on the other Spawn figure. I just want to show him in box and show where it, I can't believe that when this was shipped that it came broken like that. Just absolute rubbish in my opinion. So with that said, let's get him out and look at all the awesome customization that Woodrum did to this. Now, as I just said, Woodrum Illustrations, one of my longest time and most beloved friends, took this figure, fixed him, and gave it a custom paint job, and oh my god, this thing is just spectacular. He is going to be at the Duke City Comic Con this weekend, so if you're in the Albuquerque area at the time of this recording, make sure to go by his booth and get pick up some of his artwork. It is superb, and support these local artists. They are awesome and you know they put their heart and soul into this work and you know what else can you do to just admire it and showcase it like so now with the figure we already went over the backstory on the original version so again as i said at the beginning of this review i'll leave a card where you guys could check this out at your convenience for this one we're not going to do the whole rigmarole rigmarole yeah that word <laughs> that we normally do what i want to do is i just want to showcase how mr woodrum here put this sucker back together and just made it look fan-freaking-tastic. So what he did is the violator girl leg was broken and he had to fix this hip joint to properly get it, you know, he had to cut off this diaper area here, which, phew, not my cup of tea. I love, you know, I, I give props to people who have the patience to customize these suckers. Ooh, just, yeah. Now what he had to do is he had to clean up the damaged area because what happened is it snapped right in here and I made a little short video on TikTok about it because oh, that just really grinded my gears. So he went in, cleaned all that up, and then what he did, and this was a great idea, is he used super glue and uh, baking soda to make kind of like a cement bond. And it worked well enough, though some of the articulation is gone. You can't really move it from here, but that's okay. Because the way that they made this, the way that McFarland made this was just absolutely dumb. You can't really see it especially in this lighting but the hip joint is like this tiny and it's literally just glued on there this should have been like one piece that like a rod that ran through i don't i don't know what they were thinking when they made this deluxe figure that was that was dumb so after all that what he reattached the rubber diaper <laughs> i love that word and although he couldn't glue it back between his legs after trying you know several times it just kept coming apart but we got it going now as for the paint job in and of itself, he wanted to do something that differentiated from the original. The uh, original has great textures, but it's just a pretty much a solid gray color without definition. So Woody added a black wash to some of the areas just to make the cracks stand out and a little bit more, uh, what do you call it, dry brushed with light grays and yellows on the raised areas to make the cracks stand out, you know, a little bit more. From there, he did all the spikes and the horns by using a combination of brown, yellows, and whites. And it just, it looks so much better. It makes it so prominent. I mean, look at his back, just even from this distance, this is something that you would actually expect from McFarland Toys. Look at how those greens pop out from that gray and that black wash just all the way around. I mean, even just standing them up Regularly like so. 
mean, look at that. That looks so much flapping better. I, I looked at the bloody variant online and I was not, what do you call it? was not very enthralled with it. So yeah, just being able to do that, man, he did such a good job adding those greens. Whew, that looks so much better. He added um, blue and black here, as you can see, similar to Clown's face. And it's just, it makes this violator unique because when you look at the regular variant, it's just the same one with blood on it. So this kind of gives the look that this is Clown, like mid transformation. Oh, that just looks so damn good. And then he also, what he wanted to do is instead of using like red blood, he wanted to kind of use, and I remember from the movie, and you know, he went online and looked at different versions of Violator where he's had uh, red blood, green blood, but he decided to go with green blood. And it really makes it pop all around. Though he did, you can kind of see here and there, the red like on the mouth and the horns to show the blood of his victims. So that was just a really awesome idea. And then what he did too, is he took a, uh, what was it? Ugh, a soldering iron. And you can kind of see it here. Just don't bore into the plastic and made custom bullet holes. And to show that this was the violator's blood, he was green here, reds for the human. Just a really great idea to make this unique and uh, just a pop out amazing variant. I, I can't say any more than that. Just wow, 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 wow. I mean, look at this. You can see where he's sliced people, where you know he's trampled through his victims, where he's received damage himself. Damn, that back just looks so good with all those bones protruding. And then, of course, doing a side swipe flap. Of course, you're going to see the blood of your enemies on your hands. Oof. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now see if we can get this sucker to stand, because that is one of the little tricks with this violator. No matter what version you got, <laughs> and that knee joint is a little weak, so got to be careful with that. Mm -hmm. He wants to go down so bad, and I won't let him stay. <laughs> now the other thing is that uh, Woody added that I was just like a what do you call it, a cherry on top. Sorry, I'm so excited, so I'm just sort of stumbling through this. But he took a, a, a red cotton teeth shirt, just a scrap of it, and added some red paint. And a black, you know, for the stains. And these holes, you do a little bit of work. And they fit perfectly in Violator's claws. How awesome is that? So this is supposed to be like a part of Spawn's cape. Speaking of seeing this, I wish McFarlane would get off his duff and make cloth bendy wire capes. It would just, it would give Mafex a run for its money if they did this, especially like with that throne release that he did where Spawn's supposed to be sitting and they only gave him the part tough of his cape because the plastic capes don't bend, which makes it a bitch to make them sit in any type of throne. So it's just like, guys, Come on, this is what the collectors want, and B, it'll save so much on this whole plastic initiative. So whatever, I'm, I'm just a fan. Mayfex has really sold me on that, and I just wish other places would follow suit. Now, the last thing that uh, Mr. Woodrum did for me, oh, I saw you, I saw you. If this looks familiar, this was from the Mythic Legion Skeleton Builder that we reviewed a while back. And Woody just went ahead and added some blood stains on it. So this could go like in a uh, regular spawn hand or a... Uh, what's the... Um, the Guardian Angel, what is his name? I cannot remember for the life of me. It's like you get in front of the camera my my brain just decides that all my information from comics wants to go into the back rooms and get lost. Um, yeah, it's the one with the angel wings and the, the Redeemer. The Redeemer, I think it's the Redeemer. Whatever. It would just look good in that spawn's hand. But this was a great way of repurposing an accessory. And oh, 
just to be able to put spawn against this violator with this and to have that rip of this, just so much photography ideas that I just cannot wait to get in front of the camera and start snapping photos. But yeah, all these things. He did not have to do this, but because he did, I appreciate him all the more for it. Thank you so much, brother. And I wanted to share it with y'all and showcase this beautiful piece that he made for me. Now, just for fun, here's the custom violator next to the Spawns Universe Deluxe Clown. Here's the Mortal Kombat 11 Spawn, and then here's the Spawns Universe Gunslinger Spawn. And see what I was talking about? You put that bloody axe in Spawn's hand, and whew, that did take a little bit of finagling because this, the handle for this sucker is wider than his hand, so I had to kind of just play and slowly open up that hand and that thumb, and boom, yummy, it is in there. But guys, I'm so excited to be able to display this custom violator with my spawn collection. I just... <sighs> so thankful that one of my best friends did something this special for me. And all the little props, like if you guys see some of the custom props that I use in my photography, he was the one that went above and beyond and made them for me. When we did the, uh, ugh, what's the, what's the, the tank guy from X-Men? I can't remember his name, Bone Crusher, I think it was. With the photo, the photo, <laughs> with the photo that I did of Wolverine on that wooden X, he made that prop. And then when I did the, what was it, Voodoo and Void, and you kind of see that desert scape background, he made that as well. This guy is wicked talented and to be able to be friends with him and see all the stuff that he creates i'm just blown away and, and could not be more thankful so i appreciate you buddy i hope you all have enjoyed this review if you have please first and foremost go out and support your local comic shop and grab these figures and also please go to these comic cons and support your local artists that go out there and showcase their absolutely beautiful art, pick up some pieces, tell them thank you, and just keep them going because we want to keep art alive. And you can see it just shows when care is taken in and it's not just some product, when someone actually has passion, how this just stands out from anything that you just buy straight from a company. So guys, if you've enjoyed this review, we really would appreciate if you take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. Helps the club channel more than you could possibly know. And if you don't mind hitting that fancy little spawn bell next to subscribe, helps the club channel more than you could possibly know. And if you don't mind, I'll make sure to leave the links down in the description. Go follow Woodrow Illustrations. I'll make sure to leave all his socials down in the description as well. And just give him a shout out. And as I said, this weekend, Duke City Comic Con, Go check him out. The club wanted to go, but life has been crazy. So sadly, I won't be there. I will try to at least go by as a patron to go see my bud. But other than that, hope y'all continue to have an absolutely amazing day. Reading, photo slideshow coming up next, and happy hunting, true believers.